Welcome to St. Mark Ocean Park Family Youth and Children Time. Good morning. I am so excited. I'm going to make Play-Doh. I've never made it before, um, but I like playing with it. So I'm pretty sure I need flour and um, water and salt, and then I'll just mix it together and I'll have Play-Doh. No, you need to only put a certain amount of each in. Oh, um, really, I suppose you're right, but I could be lucky. Oh, you could be, but why don't you use a recipe? Oh, a recipe. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, but I don't think I have a recipe for Play-Doh. Hang on. My mom and I make Play-Doh. Let me text her for our recipe. Here you go. This is the one we use. It keeps a really long time, and it's really soft. Thank you. Oh, look here. It says I need a cup of flour and a cup of water and a third of a cup of salt. So I was right there. But then it also says I need two teaspoons cream of tartar and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I didn't know that. It even tells me to mix it all together in a saucepan and to cook it over low or medium heat and stir until it gets thick and then let it cool off. Ha! Huh. It sounds like it's a good thing I listened to you. You know what you're talking about. Let me try this recipe and let's see if it turns out okay. We have learned that Jesus is the good shepherd who takes care of his sheep. Do you remember who Jesus' sheep are? I am we are the believers. disciples. Those are all good answers. Jesus' sheep are those who listen to his voice and follow him. The believers. Not everyone will be one of Jesus' sheep. When we listen to the Bible story today, I want you to listen for the key word, sheep. When you hear the word sheep, can you baa really loudly? Do you want to practice? Jesus is the good shepherd who takes care of his sheep. <laughs> Well done. So we're going to read from John 10, 22 to 30. The time came for the Feast of Dedication at Jerusalem. This was during the winter. Jesus was walking in the temple to Solomon's porch. The Jews gathered around him and said, How long will you make us wonder about you? If you are the Christ, then tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I told you already, but you did not believe. I do miracles in my Father's name. Those miracles show who I am. But you don't believe because you are not my sheep. <laughs> my sheep listen to my voice. <laughs> I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never die. And no one can steal them out of my hand. My Father gave my sheep to <laughs> me. He is greater than all, and no person can steal my sheep out of my father's hand. My father and I are one. So in today's story, Jesus talks about how no one can separate him from his followers. And one of the reasons for this is because as Jesus teaches his disciples about God, the more the disciples learn to trust Jesus. At first, this may not make sense to us, which is why I had you teach me something this morning. As you taught me about making Play-Doh, I've learned that you know what you're talking about and I should trust what you are telling me. The same thing happened with the disciples. The more they learned from Jesus, the more the disciples learned to trust Jesus. But if those disciples had never tried what Jesus had said, then they'd probably not trust Jesus very much. We see this lack of trust with the Jews or the Pharisees in today's story. Since the Pharisees do not try what Jesus says about connecting with God, they don't learn to trust Jesus. This is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, Dear God, Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Who helps us. Who helps us. Get stuck to you. Get stuck to you. When we do what he says. When we do what he says. Please, help us to do what he says. Please, help us to do what he says. 
Thank you and Amen. Thank you and Amen. Thank you.